If the Prime Minister wants to tell us that there's another part of this bill that I haven't noticed that will deal with this supposed threat of the blockade, he can, I'll give way to him. I'll very happily give way to him and tell me. To, he can tell us. I'm sure he's read it. I'm sure he knows it. I'm sure he knows it in detail because he's a details man. Uh, uh, come on. Come on. Tell us what, what, what clause... Do you, what clause protects the threat that he says he's worried about, about uh, GB to Northern Ireland exports? I give way to him. Well, the right honourable gentleman can't give way unless he's asked to. There you have it. He didn't read the protocol. He hasn't read the bill. He doesn't know his stuff. The Prime Minister has said many times he wants to bring unity to the country during his premiership. I therefore congratulate him on having in just one short year united his five predecessors. <laughs> unfortunately, unfortunately, their point of agreement is that he is trashing the reputation of this country and trashing the reputation of his office. This bill speaks of a government, a prime minister that is casual, not to say cavalier and reckless about the gravity of the issues he confronts. He should be focusing on securing a be Brexit deal, not breaking international law and risking no deal. He is cavalier on international law. He is cavalier on our traditions. This is not an argument about remain versus leave. It is an argument about right versus wrong. Yeah.